Hi, this is Lee, and uh, this is me talking video. And uh, as you can see, there are four copies of Shadow Fusion here, uh, 3D model, and uh, casted and painted by me. If you don't know, Shadow Fusion is a card in Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game, and I do play Yu-Gi-Oh! So, uh, I casted those using Amanda Lapham's uh, Metal Field Center. Uh, I think this was released on her website September last year. I bought this. And, uh, well, the website is called Mana Mu Art now, but it was still Amanda Lapham, uh, back in the days. Uh, anyway, I got this, uh, beautifully crafted metal piece. And the first thing I was thinking when I got this was how can I paint this? Uh, front side is Shadow Fusion, back side is El Shadow Construct. Uh, it was listed as a, me uh, metal field center, but I seriously doubt people are gonna use this as, you know, field center because it's, a little bit too heavy, and uh, if you accidentally drop this or flip this on a card, it could do some serious damage. Anyway, uh, I was too scared to paint directly on top of this. I thought I may ruin this beautiful metal piece, so I abandoned the swords for like a while. And then I realized I could, you know, duplicate this uh, by creating silicone mood and then cast it the side in resin. So I have those. I only casted the Shadow Fusion side. Uh, so for those ones backside are, uh, all four of them backside are sealed with a proper Yu-Gi-Oh! Field Center card. And uh, it's only the front side casting Risen. I think I casted uh, like eight, nine times and then half of them were like literally just junk. Uh, cause it was rather experimental attempt. And uh, even those four, there's still tons of bubbles on top of it. Anyway, those were good enough for me just to paint over it. Um, because of the original art, uh, it was... I don't know, it was revealing because of the foil effects. And obviously, I cannot create foil effects on those 3D physical 3D models. So I thought I could use um, color gradients to make the entire image or less boring so it was blue red white uh, created light purple and then slowly transferring to purple reddish purple dark purple and then transferring back this nice gradient uh, they are not identical some of them are different like this one is darker but more or less the same idea and then uh, I each highlighting those crystals and gems and uh, because of those bubbles, right? I could fix those, but it was obviously going to take too much effort and too much time, and I couldn't be bothered. So I was thinking trading all those bubbles as, you know, just particles, and then uh, covering some of them with those lines to create a simulating a, a motion blur visual. I think it works well. Um, and I left the two creature and the core in black and then didn't do anything on top of that. Uh, I did, uh, use an MM, so non-metallic metal, uh, idea to simulating metal texture on the sides, mainly just the highlights, shadows, just heavy contrast to seal this entire image. I think it worked well. Uh, there's one thing though, uh, this one, I messed up with the ritual uh, while mixing the resin. So this one ends up <laughs> little rubberish and uh, pretty soft, not really solid piece, but uh, it, it, it is what it is. I think it, it works well as, you know, just a display piece or a fill center because, you know, the bottom is flat. Um, anyway, those are gonna be given away freely to our local Yu-Gi-Oh players. I thought I could uh, record this, make a video to memorize this, because I'm not gonna make another one of those. Uh, anyway, those are going out by end of this month. There were four tournaments running uh, at my locals, and uh, I'm ruffling one for each tournament. So... 
this is just a video of me memorizing my creations, kind of my creations. I'll see you next time, probably in another episode of Marvel United Miniature Painting. Uh, anyway, I'll see you around.